Hey guys, it's your girl T, and I want to go ahead and shout out Alicia Morrison. Lord, I'm so tired of this damn TLC and Pebbles drama. This shit has been going on for the past 20 years. They've been beefing since I was in junior high. I'm a grown woman with a child in junior high now, and these old ass women are still arguing. So on this week's episode of The Old and the Reckless, Pebbles, as you guys remember last week, she went on the Wendy Williams show, and you know, a lot of people went in on her. I did my review on that. Damn it, this is about my fifth review on this whole ratchet ass shit. So this week, she decides to do a radio interview with Frank Ski. So basically, she's blaming TLC and Chili for the demise of her marriage. And earlier in the week, L.A. Reid also did an interview with New York Magazine, and he basically also stated that TLC, TLC helped to kind of break his marriage up as well. He's saying that a lot of the drama that went on in TLC with Perry, that kind of ended their relationship. Um, he didn't speak on anything with the affair as far as Chili's concerned, but he did say that the TLC drama put a real strain on their marriage. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this radio radio interview that Frank did with Perry. I want you guys to listen to the radio interview and I will come back with the rest of my 3 WHUR Washington. We're playing TLC because we're on the phone with Perry Reed, better known as Pebbles. A lot of people didn't know what her role was with the group TLC until they saw the VH1 biopic, which many have said depicted her as evil and wicked and sinister and taking advantage of the girls and treating them wrong and Doing all kinds of stuff, and Twitter was on fire saying that she was evil. She is on the phone in her first exclusive radio interview, Perry Reed. And how, how do you feel when they say that about you? Nobody knows my side of it. Nobody, And I'm really, as much as I would like to get everybody, believe me, believe me, they might not ever believe me. So I'm going to just handle my business the way it needs to get handled and and move forward. I know the truth. I know that I have done nothing wrong here, nor have I mistreated anybody. Are you kidding me? And you know what hurts me? Why aren't you guys talking even to the people in Left Eye's family that do know some truth? I, I remember you and I having lunch, and you gave yeah. me some spiritual insight, and you gave me some great advice. If you had an opportunity to do it all again, what would you do different? Not sign them to the face. Wow. Because what I what what happened there, in my opinion, was horrific. Because you tore my family up with this. This this tore my family up. Yeah, I mean, now you, my G code yeah. kept me quiet because there's a whole bunch of dirtiness. Yeah, a whole bunch of mess that I was going to have to talk about that I didn't want to. What conversations have you had now with your daughter after she went on Twitter? protecting her mother i try to tell my daughter Franksky to not you know please just don't even be involved that is a mom that was my very first thing don't be involved but i love my baby girl because she she said to me mom let me tell you something what person she said maybe i was wrong for you know saying that what i said but i wouldn't even want to know a person who wouldn't stand up for her mama Story if you could sit hate. in the room now with Chili and T-Boz and just the three of you, could you work this out? I don't know. Um, the love in my heart could, but I have a hard time with disrespect. Disrespect for me, unless you, I don't know. And I'm not even willing to discuss it. The Christ life in me can do anything that I need to do. Yeah. But in terms of the way that this has gone down and the other things I'm not discussing with you that I know. I know. It would have to be a whole turn of events. You know yeah. when you get off the phone with me tonight and you go home, God is going to tell you that was the wrong answer. <laughs> no, 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 because hear what I'm saying. No, because I'm not Jesus. I'm, I'm, I'm a child of God. And my that's why I said to you, my willingness yeah, is there. I hear you. Listen, thank you for allowing me to get this interview first. Perry, that means a lot to me. And, you know, you promised it and you kept your word. And, and I appreciate you for that. Frasky, I appreciate you. Perry Reed, thank you so much, sweetie. I love you, Frasky. You love know, you too. Uh, when, when it's book time, I'm going to hit you. God bless you both. God bless you. Bye-bye. Okay, okay bye -bye. so you guys just listen to the radio interview. And, baby, Pebbles is going to ride this shit until the wheels fall off. TLC done gave this old-ass woman a platform to basically come and just basically go off every other week. Nobody was thinking about Perry. Nobody was thinking about Pebbles, Ashley, Ellie Reed. Nobody was thinking about any of these people until the whole TLC movie came out. And once that came out, it's like she just can't shut the hell up. She just can't let it go. 
I believe that she's going on all these shows and doing all this publicity to drum up, you know, information for her book. And that way they'll be eager to buy her book and put more money in her pocket. Now, at the end of the day, can you really blame TLC, Chili, or anybody else for the ending of a marriage? Um, while I can understand how that would put strain on a relationship because this was a company that her and her husband built together and they signed TLC and once, you know, Pebbles felt like Chili was sleeping with her husband, of course that's going to cause drama and then the fact that the girls didn't trust her anymore, they didn't want her managing them, of course that's going to cause even more drama. So I can see that being a strain on their relationship, I can see that being a strain on their marriage, but at the end of the day, a marriage is two people, husband and wife. So when you allow other people to come into your relationship, that's that's your fault. That's that's whoever allows those people to come into that relationship. It's that person's fault. You can't blame outside people for your marriage's destruction. It's the husband's fault for cheating if he did cheat. And it's her fault, you know, for doing them wrong that caused a strain on the relationship. So I think both L.A. and Pebbles need to take responsibility for the role they play for allowing this shit to happen. You know, it's easy to blame TLC. It's easy to blame Chili as opposed to looking at their marriage and saying, okay, well, this is what we did wrong or what we didn't do wrong. I think they need to put the blame more on themselves and other people. But if Chili was sleeping with her husband, like I said before in my last video, she was dead wrong. You know, I don't agree with people sleeping with other people's husbands. That shit is true. Trifling and you know and what goes around comes around that might be why she's still single to this day and can't find a man who knows you know what I'm saying I'm not throwing shit I'm just being really really honest you know a lot of people think it's funny to see what other people's boyfriends and husbands and stuff like that but at the end of the day they end up being alone and miserable so but I just think the whole interview just again wasn't needed but it's just funny how the saga is still going on long after the TLC movie has wrapped up anyways go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on the entire situation. Do you feel like it was TLC and Chili's fault for the destruction of Perry and Ella Reed's marriage? And how do you feel about Perry going around doing all these, you know, interviews and stuff, trying to drum up publicity for her book? Let me know your thoughts. All right. Deuces.